Hey guys, Jamie today on Roblox. We're playing some more God Simulator 2. As you can see on the screen right now, there is apparently a new update in this game now. And actually, I'll quickly read the about setting. So, and looks like it actually hasn't been, or the, up, the description hasn't been updated. But um, in the title, it says new area. So, we are going to check that out. So, obviously, it's not one of these normal ones. As you can see, there's no new boss portals it looks like but there is i guess a new area over here so as you can see there is now the military base teleport now i'm pretty sure this one actually costs you three rebirths so you need to have it have at least three rebirths i'm actually pretty close to rebirthing again and i'll be on nine then but i gotta get to a really high level now <laughs> that's gonna take me a while man but anyway we have a new zone again i don't know if there's like anything else wait probably i can't go in there hello let, let me in let me in why can't i go in what the heck maybe i'm not doing something wrong maybe i'm not doing something right maybe i'm doing something wrong well there's no like new souls which i guess is a little upsetting but it's fine i mean i still gotta grind for a little bit for the best eggs in the game or the best souls in the game um, am I like dumb low? Like, how do I get there? Is it like futri through the futuristic area? Maybe it's not like a rebirth zone? Hydra boss. Oh, there's somewhere over here. Military base. Okay, Len. Do you need rebirths? You do. You need rebirths to enter and you need coins. Okay. I'm just dumb. <laughs> That's all it is. Okay. So, also got some more things to crashing into. Okay, let me have a lot of health in the lightning burst, please. There we are. Hey, we actually got a couple levels off of that. Nice. Okay, I don't actually know if there's a new boss in here. It doesn't actually... It doesn't look like it yet, but there probably will be a boss. Something to do in this area. We'll see. Also, there's military tanks. I don't want to hit them. I've, I've seen, like, some gifts of them being, like, developed, and they look really mean. So I want to look probably see if there's a boss area. It doesn't look like there is at the minute. But also, having a new area... And they're all level 150, by the way, except for most of the turrets, which actually... I can't one-shot them. No. I take it back. I take it back. Leave me alone. Let's try it. That's what you get, man. That's what you get. Easy. No, don't, 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 don't. Oh, no. He fires rockets at me. That's not cool. Okay, so I can't even one-shot those guys. The tanks are going to destroy me, so it looks like there's no bosses. I'm going to go back to the home. Okay, well, apparently I can't. I'm in combat. No, I'm not. Okay. Is there actually a teleport and I'm just dumb? Okay, looks like there isn't a new boss yet. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't really tell us. What about the Discord? Does the Discord say? Actually, I, I think it might be in the Twitter. Let's have a look. Okay. Um, That was yesterday. Added a new rebirth area. Requires rebirth to enter. Costs 1.5 million. Has tanks and turrets. Okay. Uh, ton. Okay, so just a little bit of fixes, 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 fixes. Okay, it looks like. Oh wait, rebirth seventeen now costs a hundred billion instead of ten billion. Okay, so it looks like we have more rebirths we can get to. Maybe no, I'm pretty sure we still were able to get to twenty before. So it looks like right now, currently, we only have the new military base. We don't have any new souls, obviously. We haven't got any new bosses yet, but also we can expect maybe to get some more. I just do over half to that. Leave me alone, please. I don't want to get killed. I don't want to get killed. No, no. Stop. Stop chasing me. I swear. Oh, this is very slow. Oh my gosh. It has a pretty good radius. So I can definitely see that one shot in me. But I actually I got five levels that time. Nice. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, well, I need to like level up a little bit more so I can actually take it down very easily. Don't shoot me. Okay, please. Okay, there we are. So, again, not really too much, but hey, it's, it's still good. I mean, it's still very... I mean, they're pretty easy to kill. Just that, obviously, they're, um, they're not... I guess they're not bosses, I guess. But obviously, I'm still getting a lot of XP. Actually, I think they might give more XP than the... Um, the, the the best boss in the game, which is the Hydra. Maybe. I need to double check that. So I got... Actually, I've, I honestly, I have no idea of telling if there's actually a way to like see if you get a certain amount of XP for beating one of these. So I'm going from 
32, well basically, we'll say 33, okay, 33, let's basically like kill it now, we'll see how much, how many levels we go up, and then we'll go kill like, I guess the Hydra boss, okay, so I went from 33 basically to 35 and a half, so if the Hydra makes me level 37 and a half, Actually, I think probably like just a little bit less than half. We sh the Hydra's probably still gives more. So it's going to be like level 37. If we don't get 37 from this, then we know that the new tanks, I guess, are the best way to go. But honestly, I, I one-shot these. Actually, I should have ended that into the middle. I'm done. It's been like a, I've been like a day since I've played Zilla. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, yeah. Also, I can kill these. I actually got like half a level off of that. So we should be good to take it down. Let me actually just aim towards the middle of these. Did I miss? Okay, I, I didn't. Okay. 37 and a little bit under. So it looks like they, they actually might give about the same amount of uh, XP. So obviously it's a lot easier to kill the tanks because there's so many there that have to wait for the respawn time. Although the boss, I feel like, will have a higher chance to give you drops. So I guess it depends. Actually, I got more. So yeah, the Hydra is still the best way to get XP, but obviously the tanks are still pretty good. Because you don't have to wait for them to respawn, so I'd, I'm probably going to still kill the Hydra over and over again. I have a good amount of items, as I can actually show you. Right now I'm actually working on a video to try and get to all my 20 rebirths. But basically, um, I have a lot of items, so I've actually updated my items, as you can see. I have a best Zeus Thunderbolt, and I actually have three of them now. I have two golden apples, which I don't think you can equip two of them, which would be really nice if I could, but I don't think I can. And then also I have four plus four percent um, extra damage, which is also really nice. So basically, whatever the bosses or the monsters' percentages or the amount of health he has, he'll deal. He'll take four percent of his own life basically every time that I hit him. So pretty good, obviously. I don't know if the leaderboard's been fixed. I think it might. Um, I'm hoping it does. No, I still have points. I have points for my XP. What? Why? How did it break again? I should have checked, but my total coins, I think, was the loan that broke, which... Basically, if you have a decimal point in your stats, you won't be on the leaderboard. It's been programmed to not show them for some reason, and for some reason, I keep glitching my coins, my experience even. My coins one got fixed, though, so... For total experience, I have 1 billion. Is that 32 billion? Yes, 32 billion so far. One, so basically I have 2.2 billion basically. I don't think I'm actually on this. Um, actually, I should be on this, but also I'm not because of the fact that it's glitched. Damage wise, I have done, again, almost 2 billion. Again, I'm basically nowhere on this. I haven't really been grinding the game as much. Yeah, I'm not even on this one for damage. Coins, I have 29 billion. I actually will be surprised if I'm on this. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, I should be. Actually, I think I, sh I am on this one. Yeah, I am 24th. Not too bad, but not amazing. Obviously, Cauldron Wins, I haven't really participated in any of those. I've done one, and I won one. Um, and then also, Bosses, which I have 500, which I'm number 5th on that one. I need to get to number 3rd. If you're 3 or above, you actually get a crown, and that is what we want, okay? We want the crown, so I'm on the leaderboards, but we need to go for the crown, which is also why... I think I should probably stick to the bosses rather than the tanks, although the tanks are a nice addition. I'm pretty sure that the Kronos boss actually still counts if you um, want to go for boss kills, but... Oh, actually got a drop out that nice. Give me the item. I swear, I, I'm probably the worst person trying to pick up the items, but yeah, definitely it helps. So I guess I should actually really kill all of the bosses. I've been like usually killing like the the best three just to get more xp quicker and then just server hop into a, a new vip server so i can get to respawn instantly but i guess i really should be fighting all of them to try and get on that leaderboard because i can one shot all of these um prior ones okay i didn't get an item i can one shot basically every boss except from the hydra if i'm a high enough level i can one shot it like i am now i can one shot it once i get to like maybe 150 ish but also just that move it's dead and then so on and so on. So basically, pretty good. So pretty good update. Again, it is very easy, I guess, to to um, level up now with the tanks. If you don't want to boss, I guess. I mean, also, there's a 
bought ton of them, so it's still a pretty good area, and we can definitely, like, I guess, expect this area to maybe get a boss area fairly soon. I'm actually so much health. Yeah, that, that doesn't even do half. How much health was that? One, two, three, four, five. It's five million health. Okay. Well, that's a lot. So I guess if you want to like grind for damage, these might be the best thing to go for. I guess like. Maybe I'll sleep it auto clicking a little bit, I guess, if you really wanted to, but I'm still gonna go for the bosses, because honestly, my closest um, top three leaderboard placement is going to be that I should not have attacked that. I should not have attacked that. Take it back. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. <laughs> Wait, can I attack this? Oh, I can, I can attack the bottom of it. Nice. Okay, it's down. Yeah, I don't know why I attacked that one. Definitely want to attack the attack the tanks. I have a little bit more health, but I can take them down to basically the same amount of like time, basically. But hey, they're pretty good, man. They're pretty good. I mean, they have more health than the than the um than the the than the low boss. What am I thinking? The Hydra boss. They have more health because I can't one shot them. I have to actually two shot them. But at the same time, the Hydra is technically I guess like what three or four bosses if you include the um, the car or not. So, yeah, maybe that's why I also the divvied up, but you still get a lot of XP, and that's still really, really good. I'm gonna just kill a couple more, see if I can actually get, like, a good drop height, drop to have spawn. But, again, looks like the game description didn't get updated. I got, definitely gotta let him know after this video. I'm actually gonna go check his Twitter, though. He might have done a tweet. That's Twitch. That's, that's Twitch. That's not the right site. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Um, okay, there is. Um, just released the new military base in God Simulator 2. This area requires three rebirths to get in, so it costs 150 million coins, has tanks and turrets you can battle, and it does say a boss coming soon. And also, if you use the codes CAMO, you can get a free CAMO Pegasus. So if I quickly go here, go to codes, input it, I can get a Camel Pegasus, which probably isn't really that good, but let's have a quick look. Where is it? Pets are over here now. Okay. I gotta remember, I keep going to my menu for all the the pets. Um, Actually, it's pretty good for, like, a noob, I guess. Like, if you haven't got, like, super good ones. I mean, it's a lot better than the Megan pet. It's just really good. And it sells for 15k as well, so there's that. Anyway, I guess to wrap up this video, I was going to save my shards for the other next video that I might be doing unless the boss comes out quicker, which also my other video I'm working on right now is to try and get to 20 rebirths. Um, but I guess I'll spend them now, okay. Uh, can I buy three? No, I need like one, I'm like one away. Also the Hydra boss spawned again, so I'm gonna kill that again. <laughs> okay, I've got the epic. That's still goods. that's still goods. Epics are great. Yeah, I can- oh actually, I can buy two more. I'm, I was wrong. No, yeah, it's 36. I'm just dumb. I can't count, apparently. Okay, Midnight Pegasus. I already had one of those on. As you can see, I have opened one in that video so far. And the last one, another epic. Hey, I will take three epics. That means now I have four epics out of the best soul in the game. So if I actually go to my pets, I keep owning my menu. So as you can see, the, my best pet is probably this. The night, the Nightmare Time, time at, or Time at, from the pre, from like what I got after one rebirth which is from this one the haunted soul also i'm pretty sure that the haunted hydra and the phantom eagle are from it as well like the phantom eagle the uh haunted one also the timer is the very the mythical one so they're only from that one okay and also then as well i have um the hellhound which was one in also gods in one as a robux pet but also the Midnight one, comp just compared to the timer, okay. 1.5 XP, so it's more experience I'm going to be getting. 2.7, this is a max level one as well. 2.73 2 damage and then almost 7 coins. It's better and it's only an epic. I still could get the mythical. And also now, I just got more. I have these ones, which, wait. I thought this one was more. No, it's a little bit less, but you can see. Just in base form, the XP is more. The damage is a little bit less right now, but obviously under coins, but let's go to level 1. So I'm going to also go ahead and... I guess... I guess the Hellhound is the worst one now, which sucks because it's a Robux pet, but that's fine. Next up, actually, I guess I'll quickly equip my Midnight Pegasus. And then I want to unequip... 
5.7. I guess this is my next one, right? 6666. Yep. So unequip you. I don't know if. No, a Galactic one definitely isn't. That one's from that one, I'm pretty sure. Okay, blue lightning. I need to unequip one more then, so. Then we'll cut the XP. I guess the way, the best way to tell if you want to unequip it is their XP, maybe? Yeah, it looks like it's a Phantom Eagle, so let's go ahead and unequip that and put on my new blue one. So, hey, this is my new team that I have right now. Unfortunately, you can't look at your, the camera. Unfortunately, like, as you can see, like, right here. If you go, if you look straight up, you can look at the camera, but not real, because if you just go back down, it disappears and it, like, faces away from you. So I can't really get, like, good thumbnails. Kind of sucks, but hey, more bosses spawn, so that means I'm going to quickly go ahead and get, go one-shot them all again, just to try and get uh, more, bo like, also more drops, so that's pretty good. And also, like I said, I gotta still grind some levels. It's gonna take me. I'm pretty, I think I gotta get like another hundred levels now for for the next rebirth. Like it's getting to the. Actually, I think it might be four hundreds. No, it's just it's like just under four hundred though. But it's still a lot. Like it's still a freaking lot. So I gotta grind for a while. I'm not gonna lie. So it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty painful. Okay, I got another one. Oh yes, we just got. Freaking freestyle one. That's really good. Okay, let's quickly go take out the Hydra for the last part of this video, obviously. I mean, we can, like, take this out very quickly. Very, very quickly. I mean, we don't really take much damage from that, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, use that. I missed! Oh, no, I didn't. Wait, it didn't one-shot? Oh, I'm doing a little bit less damage because also my pets are on the level one. That makes sense. That makes sense. I'm just dumb. <laughs> So, hey, that's fine still. I can still use this in a second. So again, I have so much health that they're not really going to do much to me, but hey, that's fine with me. That just means I get to kill this quicker. So also, I can just like keep hopping servers now after I give this car. Didn't get a drop. I got one drop from that, okay, and I'm happy with that. I'm probably not going to use it low. But hey, that's pretty good. Now all I've got to do now is just hop servers and keep grinding the bosses. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.